In the second semifinal of the 2015 SCAC Women's Basketball Tournament, we saw maybe the game of the year between Trinity University and Texas Lutheran University. Trinity coming in as the three seed, Texas Lutheran the two seed. The Tigers were all over the Bulldogs early on, jumping out to a 30-15 to lead uh, only midway through the first half. It was an incredible uh string of offense from the Tigers early on. However, Texas Lutheran would respond, thanks in part to a 16-3 run towards the end of the first half, and they would go into uh, the half tied at 42. I think you saw what both teams are really capable of. I mean, we're capable of putting runs together. They're capable of putting runs together. We're both capable of putting some defensive stands together. Uh, we're both teams that can execute up and down. We can execute in the quarter court. Um, I think you got to see exactly what you should have seen out of those two teams tonight. Um, I'm just really, really happy that you know down the stretch we were able to really take advantage of the post-ups and we moved the ball and we finished at the rim, um, which is always really important against TOU because they have such great size in there. The second half would be just as good. Both teams really clamping down on defense, forcing missed shots and some turnovers. But we would remain tied uh, at 73. And the big shot came from Carissa Cantu. Uh, you remember her from last year. She hit a huge three to force overtime uh, with less than five seconds remaining. Texas Lutheran needed a couple big shots to get to that point. They had a big three also from Bianca Casas. How One thing we talk about a lot is that emotion can be the enemy of execution. You know, when you get too excited or too down, the pass isn't quite crisp enough, the screen isn't set strongly enough. They made such momentum plays down the stretch. They went into that huddle thinking, man, we got everything we need. And we came into our huddle thinking, this is what we expected from them. Didn't rattle us a bit. It, and that's what it should have been for a semifinal. Well, that's basketball. Um, they, made, they made the shot they needed to. And, um, and we just knew that we had to focus on the next five minutes and forget about what happened in the previous 40. And uh, we had to just stuck to our game plan and stayed focused. And, Got the win. However, in the overtime period, the Tigers were able to hold off the Bulldogs. They got some big points from Anicia Richardson as well as Taylor Hollins. And the score may not indicate it, but it was all the way down to the wire. Trinity defeats Texas Lutheran 91-78 to in overtime. Anicia Richardson, 22 points and 13 rebounds. Hannah Coley, 21 points and 6 assists. Uh, Lauren Splon added 17 points, four three-pointers. Taylor Hollins, 13 points, some huge shots in the clutch. Uh, just a big, big game there for the Tigers who are going back to the SCAC championship game for the third year in a row. I mean, that's what our team's been all year. Like Anyone can uh, step up any game, and I think that's what makes it so hard to defend and so hard to play. And I'm so proud of um, everyone that, that contributed, like whether it be off the bench or um, on the bench or on the court. And, um, it's just been a total team effort this entire season. It's a, so fun to be a part of. For Texas Lutheran, a tough loss for the defending champions. Kristen Lai led the way with 23 points and 8 boards. Uh, be, uh, Carissa Cantu was big, 19 points and 6 assists. Taylor Didowitz added 10 points and 7 rebounds. Uh, Chelsea Stoley also had 3 blocks. Obviously a tough loss for them, but man, did they battle to the very end. So the championship game is set. It will be the Trinity University Tigers, and it will be the Southwestern University Pirates, what should be a great championship game. It goes down tomorrow at noon in Irving, Texas, at the Mayhurst Center uh, on the campus of the University of Dallas. Uh, no question. I mean, we were 0-2 in the regular season, but now this is the postseason. So there really are no records. We're 2-0, and and they're 1-0. So, you know, thinking back to – all of the things that went on in order for that Austin College game to happen, I'm really glad we had it because I think teams are better when they play. And, you know, we feel really confident in what we got planned for Southwestern. Obviously, they're a really good team. Uh, but that is definitely a, a rivalry game, and our girls will definitely be ready to go. Yeah, we're really excited. Um, we've dropped a couple games to Southwestern this year so far, but those don't mean anything. Uh, it's a whole new game tomorrow, and we, we know what we need to do, and uh, we're going to show up and do it.